What's going on, guys? I go by the name RJ Lamont, and today I'm coming to you with part one of my six-part series on a beginner's guide to Fruity Loops, FL Studio 20 for Mac. I know a lot of people are switching over from Ableton or Logic because I know FL Studio is new for Mac, but today I'm going to get you up to speed. It's a lot of stuff going on, but if you just narrow it down to a few things, it makes it so much easier. I think it's like five to be exact. If you narrow it down to five things, everything is going to be so much easier. Don't worry about none of this other stuff. None of this. Nothing. What you need to focus on is these five things right here. The playlist, the piano row, the channel rack, the mixer, and the browser. I'm going to go into deep detail on all five of these things. Starting with the playlist. The playlist is where you put your song together. Also, if you if you get lost, just double click on anything and it's gonna go back to. Essentially, I usually just double click the playlist and it always just bring me back here. But the playlist is where you put everything together, just like your building blocks. It's where you're gonna build everything up. It's where you're gonna build your song, like your hook, your verse, all of that. You're gonna put different patterns. You don't know what a pattern is yet, but you're gonna put different patterns in different places. Next. You got these keys right here, a.k.a. the piano roll. The piano roll is where you're going to draw your notes in, all your MIDI notes. Like if you want to create a chord or a melody, this is where you're going to do all of that. Next, we have the channel rack or the step sequencer. This is where you could pan things from left to right or in the middle. You could turn the volume up. You can see all your tracks, like everything that you have. This is where you're going to see everything at. Also, it's a step sequencer. I just draw some random stuff in. This don't matter. The next thing is these faders right here, or the mixer. This is where everything is. This is where you're going to route all your channels. Like if you got a bass, a string, a clap, a snare. You'll route all that to each individual channels. I know if you come in from Logic or another program, it automatically routed everything to the mixer. But in FL Studio, you got to manually do it. It's not hard. It's a quick process. I'll show you a little bit later, but it's a quick process. And last but not least, you got the browser. The browser is essentially over here. So you're really not going to need to click this, only if you get lost. But it's over here. It's like all your drops, all your drum kits like bass claps hi-hats all of that stuff all of that stuff is in the browser if you click it to get rid of it click it again and bring it back i usually just leave it here all the time and essentially that's what you're going to need to know to get started in fl studio if you ever get lost just double click go right back to it in the next video, I'm going to go over building chords, then melodies, bass, drums, arranging, all of that stuff. But the next video is going to be specifically on chords. We're going to start off a song so I can show you how to import an instrument, build a chord, and then swap out that sound. All that in the next video. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. RJ Lamont in the building, and I'll be back. Yeah.